Greetings, my drinking buddies. It is officially fall. And what does fall mean? Fall means we need some fall cocktails. And what says fall more than anything? Pumpkin spice. That's right, I'm about to make a pumpkin spice old fashioned. Are you ready? Let's do it. So the first thing you're gonna to need to do to make a pumpkin spice old fashioned is to make some fall spice bitters. So you're going to get some of these mulling, uh, Spice Island mulling spices. You can usually get these at almost any grocery store around this time of the year in fall. Um, and uh, what's in this? It is uh, cinnamon, allspice, clove, star anise, orange peel, and natural orange flavor. Um, I fill up a mason jar with them, and then I fill up a little bit higher than where the line of the spices are. I fill up a little bit higher than that with whiskey or vodka. I prefer whiskey, but you could use vodka just fine. It's really not going to taste like much other than these spices by the time you're done. So you use some sort of fancy liqueur or liquor, you're not going to get a lot of that flavor. You're going to want to use something... Um, 50 proof vodka is is pretty darn good for doing this or 50 proof, proof whiskey um, so yeah fall spice bitters um, and then after about a month you will uh, uh, use a funnel to pour that into a uh, jar like this um, how did i get this uh, this is just an old hot sauce bottle um, and when i was done with the hot sauce i cleaned the jar out and now i use it for bitters Fall spice bitters. I highly recommend you make this ingredient. You can use it in plenty of cocktails that aren't this one, but it's really nice in this one. All right, so in order to make a pumpkin spice old fashioned, we're gonna need to make some pumpkin syrup. I can't call it pumpkin simple syrup because it isn't exactly simple. Uh, simple syrup would be a one-to-one -one ratio of some sort of liquid to some sort of sugar. Um, this is not exactly that. So it's not a simple syrup, but it's not a complex syrup either. Let me begin. I got a pan heating. I'm going to do equal parts. This is about a third of a cup, but I'm doing equal parts. You could do whatever you want, uh, as long as they're equal parts. So this is gonna be brown sugar, pumpkin puree, Pumpkin beer. I'm using Four Peaks Pumpkin Porter, but you can use whatever you have. And maple syrup. We're gonna do one little squeeze of our cinnamon here. Got, got some cinnamon, it's one dash of cinnamon, not an exact science. All right, I'm gonna bring this to a, a higher heat and uh, stir it. I'll be right back. Okay, so our pumpkin syrup is doing really nice right now. I brought it to a boil because I wanted to cook off a little bit of that raw pumpkin flavor. And now what we're left with is this really smooth sauce that is just a wonderful pumpkin syrup. I made uh, this cocktail before, and I can tell you that this stuff is just really delicious. It's almost the color of like a gravy, but don't let that fool you. It doesn't taste anything like gravy. All right, let's remove this from heat, let it cool off, and we'll build our cocktail. Okay, we've got all of our ingredients assembled and it's time to make this cocktail. In my shaker, I have ice. To that, I'm going to add three quarters of an ounce of our pumpkin syrup. I'm 
we're going to add two ounces of rye. Today I'm using this wonderful High West double rye, really good stuff. And then we're gonna add in three dashes of our fall spice bitters. This one go, this uh, stopper on, dropper on here goes pretty quick. So that was three drops. Stir. And let's pour into a chilled martini glass. All right. Pumpkin spice, old fashioned. Let's give it a taste. Yep, this is good. So um, the, the rye is totally there. You get that spiciness from the rye. Um, the pumpkin flavor is so good in here. Um, I really feel like somebody who doesn't even like an old fashioned because it's too strong for them would like this drink because this pumpkin flavor is so good. I cooked off the raw pumpkin flavor, but the pumpkin flavor coming from the cooked pumpkin as well as the pumpkin beer is just, Phenomenal. And these uh, fall spice bitters are giving it a really nice pumpkin pie flavor. Uh, you get that pumpkin pie flavor from the pumpkin spices and that's, you know, pretty much the same stuff we used in here. The nutmeg, the allspice, the cloves, uh, um, etc. Uh, cinnamon. And that's, you know, pumpkin pie spices. So we're getting our pumpkin flavor from the pumpkin syrup and we're getting our, our pumpkin spice flavor from the fall spice bitters. Uh, often when you get a pumpkin spice uh, something at, you know, a coffee or a donut or something, it's just the pumpkin pie spices, not necessarily any pumpkin. Um, and so I really like the pumpkin flavor and that one really comes through on here. Pumpkin spice old fashioned. I recommend you make it for your friends. Uh, please be sure to like, share and subscribe. Um, if you want to see more uh, great cocktails like this that are totally original, um, the best way to do it is to subscribe. So thanks for watching. Cheers.